Well, we got to talk about some pretty important stuff here. Right. That's going on in the news. I mentioned Washington at the top of the show, but I didn't talk about the real big story. Folks, things are really heating up uh, in the long-running saga of Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky. Stuff is, it, it's really going to get uh, heated at this yes. point. Now, Monica has hired new lawyers who apparently are close to working out an immunity deal with Kenneth Starr for her testimony. But uh, people say her credibility may have been damaged by the photo spread that she agreed to pose for in the new Vanity Fair, which I keep right here at all times. This is her. <laughs> she posed for this, and people were saying, like, what did you do that for? Yeah. That this is going to cause a problem. I know what those feathers would go well with. <laughs> match. Order me that. Have that feather boa ordered immediately. <laughs> yes. Well, anyway, folks, good journalists that we are, we thought it was time for us to do an update in our continuing coverage of the president in crisis. The big question is, will Coolio testify? <laughs> All right, folks, uh, let's go right to the source, get things started. Please welcome, live via satellite from the White House, the man himself, President Bill Clinton. Let's talk to him. because of this Monica Lewinsky thing, but you, right. you certainly seem as upbeat as ever. Well, Conan, understand, I've got to run this country. I'm not going to let myself be affected by the actions of some confused young girl who's embarrassing herself and letting a lot of people down. So you think Monica's photo spread? No, no, Ginger Spice had no business leaving the Spice Girls, man. <laughs> Monica, nothing. What the hell was Ginger thinking, man? What was she thinking? I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know, sir. Listen, Conan, those Spice Girls are so much better when they're all together. Trust me. <laughs> oh, sir. <laughs> sir, come on. <laughs> sir, come on. You got me? You get me? You see my drift? What? You catch it? You yeah, catch I get it? your drift. That I did all five? Yeah, it's clear. <laughs> Listen to this madness. Hey, everybody, look at Trump hey, Heston. He's stopped by. Mr. H, how you doing? <laughs> oh, you my God, Trump Heston. Stop by. I'll tell you, this is further proof we can't trust this buffoon with our daughters or our guns. <laughs> or our daughters' guns. My daughter has a beautiful gun. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, uh, welcome. Uh, Welcome, Mr. Heston. Uh, yes. Let's let a real president speak for a second. Okay, well, that's, oh. that's a good point, sir. Mr. Heston, you were just elected president of the mm -hmm. National Rifle Association. That's right, yes. Yeah. Hey, congratulations on that there, Mr. Heston. Since you pod-snorting, pig-poking parasite. <laughs> I ought to take you out now while I have the chance. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, Mr. Heston. I thought one of the reasons the NRA chose you as leader was to seem less extreme. Uh, don't underestimate my love of guns. I own guns. I sleep with guns. I just ate four guns. <laughs> you ate four guns? Knock, knock. What? <laughs> Who's there? Guh. <laughs> Guh who? Gun. <laughs> That's really good, sir. Yes, thank you. My gun told me that joke. <laughs> this guy. He's nutty. <laughs> Who said that? Gun, is that you? I'm coming, Gun. <laughs> oh, man. Well, he is nuttier than an elephant's turd. Okay, now look, <laughs> sir, come on. <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> sir, oh. now really, let's, let's get back to Monica Lewinsky. Let's talk about something substantive. Oh, that... oh man. What? Heston's making out with a gun. I can't miss this freak show. Oh, Mr. President, Mr. President. Oh, oh, folks, well, he's gone, but, uh, 
Let's have something substantive on the show. Yeah. Let's talk to somebody else who's very much involved in this case. It's the president's close friend and advisor, and he's right in the middle of this whole mess, Vernon Jordan. Let's talk to him right now. Hello. Hello there. Now, uh, Mr. Jordan, you testified the other day in front of the grand jury for the fifth time. Yes. Once again, I answered the question honestly, decisively, definitively. <laughs> Afterwards, I had a fish fillet. Really? Was it, was it good? I enjoyed it thoroughly. <laughs> Now, sir, in your testimony, you say that you drove Monica Lewinsky to meet with a lawyer. I drove her speedily, <laughs> but responsibly. What, what, what kind of car? A Chevrolet. <laughs> it has a digital tape display. Did you uh, listen to any music? Beck's album, Odile. <laughs> so, uh, now, she told you that uh, she and the president didn't have sexual relations? She assured me that there was no filet, she o Okay, so you're, you're saying, you're saying no oral sex? Mm, basically. <laughs> really? She did pleasure me orally. Wait a minute, wait a minute, sir, she pleasured you? She did me slowly, <laughs> delicately, and skillfully. And that's funny to you. <laughs> it amuses me. <laughs> Back to the script day, okay. <laughs> now, sir, tell us. Let's hurry. <laughs> sir, uh, so just tell us, uh, you say she pleasured you. Now, now, how just did that happen? I filled her up with some Beaujolais. <laughs> you, uh, you took her out to dinner? She eats voraciously. <laughs> she ordered a double chocolate souffle. <laughs> did, you, uh, did you have to do anything else? I took her to a Broadway play. <laughs> and then she actually gave you oral sex? There was a brief delay. <laughs> For what? I begged her endlessly. <laughs> she kept saying Ixne on the Oja Blade. <laughs> and then? She made me wear her beret. All right, that's <laughs> 